Yes, the biggest tech extravaganza of the year took place virtually this year with announcements from all the big tech names. And there was plenty of news and launches in the gaming world, which of course is what we're all about here at Scam. So let's dive in. 2020 was the year that gaming boomed. It's now a bigger industry than the movie and music industries combined, with 3.1 billion people playing games around the world. So it's no surprise to see some exciting developments this year. Nvidia's 2021 livestream started in true dramatic style, with a showcase of the latest games displaying RTX Ray Trace graphics, of which there are now 36, including Cyberpunk 2077, the most successful PC launch game of all time. They also announced five new G-Sync monitors from Acer, AOC and Asus, and the GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card, which will be launched in late February. And then finally, after stating laptops are the fastest growing gaming platform, they went on to announce, as we'd all expected, the brand new generation of Ampere-powered laptops, with second-gen RTX and third-gen Max-Q technologies using AI advancements to make gaming laptops more powerful than ever. There'll be 70 different gaming and studio laptops launched on the 26th of January that'll include the 3060, 3070 and the most powerful laptops on the market with an RTX 3080 graphics card, with over half of these laptops offering 240Hz refresh rates. AMD's Lisa Su took to the stage surprisingly dressed in blue to deliver her keynote where she talks about high-performance computing and graphics solutions. She recapped on the huge year that AMD had in 2020 and spoke with partners including HP, Lenovo, Lucasfilm and AMG Formula One for an insight on the cool collaborations that they've been working on. But the big news was the unveiling of the much-anticipated AMD Ryzen 5000 series of mobile processors. The new processors are based on the same Zen 3 architecture as the desktop Ryzen 5000 CPUs that launched at the end of 2020 and had everyone and their grand clambering to get hold of one. It'll certainly shake up the laptop world and threaten Intel's current market-leading position in this area. Lisa promises incredible performance coupled with a longer battery life. The flagship processors are the AMD Ryzen 9 5980HS and HX with 8 cores and 16 threads and a 4.8 GHz boost clock. On to Intel and with the 11th gen CPUs around the corner, they've been using the online show to demonstrate some of the capabilities of these new processors, codenamed Rocket Lake, but as yet no official release dates. Instead, they turn their focus to their mobile CPUs, announcing the first three of the 11th gen H processors for its next gen gaming laptops. These new processors will essentially enable the RTX 3000 GPUs and DDR4 memory to run faster and more efficiently. They also support Thunderbolt 4 ports and faster Wi-Fi connections. And it wasn't just all about chips for Intel this year. They also revealed details of their work with Mobileye, with whom they're pioneering a safer, smarter future for driving, developing autonomous vehicles that can respond and adapt to rapidly changing conditions on city streets using vision technology alone. And for the 11th gen Intel desktop CPUs, there were plenty of 500 series motherboards shown off at CES 2021. The Z590 motherboards will launch on January the 27th and will be backwards compatible with current Intel 10th gen processors, of course, but they're fully enabled with all the features of the upcoming 11th gen chips, such as full support for PCIe 4, which will finally let Intel-based PCs take full advantage of the new crop of super-fast PCIe 4 SSDs and more. Scan will, of course, sell a wide range of Z590 boards from all the top brands, so make sure to keep an eye out on the website later this month. And if in the meantime we get any confirmation on when the 11th gen Intel chip will actually be released, we'll let you know. Razer announced a 2021 update to its much-loved gaming laptops, the Razer Blade 15 and Blade Pro 17. They'll feature Nvidia's newly announced mobile-focused RTX 30 series GPUs for laptops, offering up to 16 gigabytes of VRAM power on the go, a first for consumer laptops. A new 360 hertz option is also being offered too, and you can get your hands on the Blade 15 at the end of this month and the Blade 17 Pro soon. They also showed off their concept gaming chair, Project Brooklyn, an entertainment powerhouse packed with panoramic visuals in a 60-inch rollout display, riveting tactile feedback and a transformable table for PC and console gaming. 
Asus ROG revealed their new ROG Flow X13 ultra portable laptop that has extra gaming power when you need it, thanks to an XG Mobile external graphics card. Plus, they showed off the updated version of the ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 SE dual screen laptop and ROG Strix Scar laptop, both of which will be available with the latest AMD processors and Nvidia graphics cards. In terms of peripherals, they showcased the ROG Claymore 2 keyboard with its cool detachable number pad, meaning you can mount it on either side or just lose it altogether to make it an 80% keyboard. They also showed off the Gladius 3 wireless mouse and the ROG Swift PG32UQ 4K 144Hz monitor with an IPS panel and 1 millisecond response time. MSI celebrated its 35th anniversary with an awesome presentation that showed off a major refresh of its gaming laptop line, which now feature NVIDIA RTX 30 series graphics card. Heading up the refresh lineup is the MSI GS66 Stealth, which will be able to run games at playable frame rates in 4K, powered by a 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor and available with up to an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Max-Q GPU. They also showed off the MSI GE76 Raider Dragon Edition Tiamat with its very cool lid design, colourful LED bar around the front and customisable RGB keyboard. Plus the MSI Stealth 15M which is one of the first gaming laptops to feature Intel's 11th Gen H35 series mobile processors. And at just 0.63 inches thick, it's also one of the world's thinnest gaming laptops. They also unveiled a host of new PC components and peripherals, including the new RTX 30 series Seahawk GPUs, their Z590 motherboards, including their top-of-the-stack godlike. Plus, they confirmed that they'll be bringing their very first SSDs to market. Now, they weren't at CES this year, but that didn't stop Corsair launching some cool stuff this week. Thursday saw them reveal the new 5000 series of mid-tower ATX cases, the Corsair 5000D, 5000D Airflow and the IQ 5000X RGB. All offer simple and tidy cable management, plus a spacious interior that fits two multiple radiators, including two 360mm. The 5000D and 5000D Airflow include two 120mm fans with Corsair AirGuide technology, whilst the 5000X RGB goes a step further with three included SP120 RGB Elite AirGuide fans with, of course, RGB. The 5000D is equipped with a minimalist solid steel front panel complete with dedicated ventilation channels for air intake, whilst the 5000D Airflow has perforated triangular cutouts for maximum airflow and the 5000X RGB is the aesthetic beauty of the trio with tempered glass panels and loads of RGB. They also launched a white version of the H100i and H150i Elite Capelix AIO coolers. Over to the world of videography now as Sony showed off their very first drone, the Air Peak, for the first time at CES 2021. They did tease us with it at the end of last year, but we can now confirm that it's firmly aimed at the high-end professional market. They've released little details other than it's capable of capturing some spectacular video whilst travelling at pretty high speeds. In this first teaser video, you can see the drone following a prototype Sony Vision S car at a racetrack. I think we can all agree that 2020 had us all pining for live gigs and events, and Sony's hoping that virtual concerts in your very own home can substitute for actual live gigs. They unveiled their immersive music studios, which uses specialised three-dimensional sound, and they're building immersive performances that will run on PlayStation, VR, and on mobile devices. And to show it off, they offered a preview of an exclusive gig by pop star Madison Beer. We saw some cool wearable tech at the show in the form of these smart glasses from Voy. They can be tuned, meaning that swapping between glasses could soon become a thing of the past. The wearer uses a small wheel in the frame that lets you tweak the strength of the lens focus. Genius! And the COVID-19 crisis has put a whole new focus on monitoring your health beyond just fitness activities. So we're bound to see a rise in demand for apps and devices that track things like heart rate, blood pressure, temperature and other vital statistics that can help in the management of long-term illnesses and chronic conditions over time. And we saw quite a few different offerings at this year's show. 
Then, as ever, there was the weird and wonderful tech on display, including Samsung's robotic waiter and butler that can pour your wine and even do the washing up. We also saw the MyQ Pet Portal Pet Flap that connects to your smartphone, a British AI app that guesses your fit when buying clothes online, and a luxurious bathtub that connects to Amazon Alexa. And Razer announced a concept mask called Project Hazel. It's equipped with a medical grade respirator, rechargeable active ventilators, and smart pods that regulate airflow for optimal breathability, as well as a built in microphone and amplifier to make voices easier to hear, inbuilt lights that turn on automatically when it's dark, and of course, RGB lighting. As this is a concept, there is, of course, no price or release date attached. So there is a quick walkthrough of just some of the announcements that caught our eye at CES 2021. Let us know what was your favorite product announced at this year's show. Of course, Scan will be bringing you plenty of video content on all of the gaming and tech products that are released throughout the year. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.